Hi. Today we are in the northernmost part of Norway in county of Finnmark. Let's have a look at the map so we can see where we are. This is the northern part. And the next island out here is not correct with Longyearbyen. The next island is the North Pole. So here we will go scroll down to the Central Europe. You can see the distances here. Here we have Oslo, the southern part of Norway. This is northern part of Norway. This is the northernmost part of Norway, but we are to the east. And as you might know, the most easternmost part of Norway is east of Finland. It's as far east as Minsk in Belarus which is approximately here. So that was the map. Let's get inside the truck. Let's get started. And say hello to the lady. She's with me today as well. Well, we have to be, take care of that guy walking there. Don't want to be polite and driving down. Wow. Well, let's have a look around, see where Okay, we need to back to the left scene from here. Let's try it. Almost a jackknife. It wasn't a jackknife, actually. Didn't hit the police car, thank God for that. So, we are now going, here we are. Let's have a small look at the map again. We are in the small community called Botsfjord. And we are going to the neighboring community called Berlevåg. We should then follow the coastline partly under the drive. In Balavog, we are going to pick up some load. In Botsfjord, sorry. It's not Balavog, we are in Botsfjord. So we need to go to the left. And then left again, it seems. Turn left. Yes, turn left. Said the sign there said Tana Bru. So I think we are going to go through Tana Bru. As you see, it's almost the middle of the day, 11 o'clock almost. And in this time of the year, in October, the sunlight is rather low up here. We are getting closer to the winter period where it's totally dark, or not totally dark, but it's no sun for 24 hours a day in the middle of the winter. On the opposite, they have 24 hours of sun in the summertime. So it's balanced some way. <coughs> Speed limit is 80. I'm not so sure that we're going to do 80 here because it's some curvy road. As you saw from that sign, it's 358 meter above sea level. That's the altitude, it's not so high. But so far to the north as we are now, this is, is equal something like 3-4 thousand meter above sea level in the Central Europe. I use a mod that uh, adjusts the daylight according to the real 
time, daylight. It uh, it's adjusted every every week. So sunset and sunrise is quite in accordance with the real world. As you saw, there was a barrier there. During the winter time, the road is quite often closed. And then you have to go here in a convoy. So, it's a very special and very nice nature up here. And as you can see, it's not so much trees or forests here. Kongsfjord. Suppose that it should be some 50 or maybe 60 speed limit area. Here we are along the coast of the Barents Sea. And as I said, next island, North Pole. <coughs> oh, we take it carefully. Don't want to have any damage to the track or the trailer. There we have it. That's the open sea during the winter time. There's some heavily winter storms here then uh, the weather could be real horrible especially for people like me that are living in the southern part but the ones living up here they are used to it and I manage I think you need to be born up here to be able to live here, especially during the winter time from late November to February when it's no sunlight, 24 hours a day it's no sunlight. That could be quite depressing. 50, take DC guy. should be here somewhere. Let's see where it is. Have a look at the map. Okay, it should be into the right here. Let's see, should be here. That was a special warehouse. Cargo market. This one is going back to Botsfjord. Okay, there it is. Well, we need to go out to have an overview of the situation. I don't think I will be able to turn around here. And it may be not so easy to back out to the street either. Let's try it. Just like that, then go to the other direction, blocking the road. So let's take an overview again and go out. Not sufficient, we need to drive on a bit to get into that spot. So let's do that, and then we do it like this. Then we try to back up, jackknaf the trailer. Don't 
then I think we need to go out to have a look again. No. Well, we need to go out to have an overview here. Wow, that was not good. Hopefully there are not heavy traffic here. I think normally I found it more easy to do it from this side, that's what I call the right side. Then we have a better view. Jackknifing the try there. That was too much, of course. I almost hit the light post over there. That's not so good. So let's see how we are managing now. Oh, it's improving. That was a rather narrow spot. But in one way we managed to do it. Now we are right on spot. Let's stop the engine. Parking brake. And then we're loading. So let's see how the way back works. Time to hit the road. Yes, it's time to go on. No one, so let's go on. Okay, let's find a new route. Unfortunately can't really see here that normally there are some heavy waves coming in from the Arctic area. It's literally ice cold out in the sea here. Uh, lighthouse, it's nice. Sundfjorden, that's Sund, is a narrow passage, and fjord, Fjorden is a fjord, or T fjord. Let's continue. Don't want to do speeding here, because it's curvy. And we have some valuable load, so don't want to have any damage to the load, neither to the truck or trailer. Today I also tried the uh, reshade mod that I found that should be updated for 1.45 I also tried the 1.46 but I think that was the beta I tried was maybe a bit early so I want to wait for the, the official release of that one and maybe also wait for pro mods to get their updates to the 1.46 because I prefer to use Promon map. It's broadened up to the northern or European part, especially in here in the Nordic. It has bit to drink. As you maybe remember, I'm driving a Scania S. 770 horsepower but even with that engine the, that hill was rather stiff so here we have to go to the left yes we are going to turn left 
Ah, we didn't pass Tanda Blue. That's to the right here. We go to the left, says Botsfjord. That's our destination. And here on that side there was mentioned the overs where the convoy is leaving during the winter time when the road is closed. So we have to wait maybe an hour or two or three to join a convoy over the mountain. Or, or maybe rather over the hill, but up here is called a mountain. And also in, uh, I'm sorry that it's the landscape is not adapted to the season of the year. But in the south north as we are now, you could expect snow the year round, some places up here, where it's in the mountains area, mountain area. So it's much easier to go downhill, of course. Getting close to the fjord again, and then we had Bot's fjord. Bot is a boat or ship, and fjord is fjord is fjord. So it could be called boat fjord in English. So let's see where we have the destination. here somewhere. The map stops but I think that we have to go straight on. It was a nice ride. Yeah, it was a nice drive. Thank you. So it's here. So in here or in here we have to make it a try. If it's the wrong direction then we have to turn around. It's not a big problem. I don't want to skip parking. Oh, this was the correct entry. So let's see if we are able to park it in a decent manner. Like that. That was good enough stop it here then I say thank you for now hopefully you liked the video if you did push the like button and I would also appreciate very much if you subscribe to my channel you find the icon down at the right hand side of the screen and if you have any comments positive or negative please make them thanks for now and good night